So here we are in my server instance to take a look at the Cloud Migration Assistant. To navigate there, we'll just click on the settings icon up here, click on system, and then we will scroll down to the import and export section right here and click on migrate to cloud. The Cloud Migration Assistant is a phenomenal resource, even if it's not your chosen migration method. We've already seen it briefly when we looked at its app assessment capabilities. But in addition to that, it contains links here to several resources like the Cloud Migration Guide that we've been talking about. And it also has this section here that will guide you through selecting your data and automatically move it to your cloud site. So let's take a few minutes and process an actual migration of data using this tool. So I'll just tab over to the cloud instance that we're migrating to. You can see that there's no projects here. If I look at the people in this instance, it's just me. There's nobody else here. So we really have a blank slate here. I just wanted to show you this before view so that we can see the results of the migration later on. Now, back in our migration assistant, we'll start by clicking here on Manage Your Migration. I already have a test migration here, so your UI might look a little different at first, but you should still see an option here to create new migration. If you haven't assessed your apps yet, you will be prompted to do so here, but we'll continue without assessing for the purposes of this demonstration. Now, here is a nice visual overview of how this is all going to play out. So we'll just move ahead and select the cloud site that we are going to migrate to. Looks like it's detected it for me already here, so no changes to make. And next, we're going to be guided through selecting what exactly it is that we want to migrate. If we click on projects here, we can see a full list of all the projects in my server instance. And depending on our previous assessment, we should already know which projects we're intending to move. Now, for those of us navigating pages and pages of projects, you are able to parse the results with these search options up here. So we'll just go ahead and choose all of these, and we will choose to migrate all of the data, apply these changes, and now we'll do the same thing for our users and our groups. Now, again, for demo purposes, we'll just choose all users and to preserve group membership. We'll apply these changes, check for errors one last time. Now it does give us an error here, so let's take a look at that real quick. It looks like uh, there's a duplicate group that exists in my server instance and my cloud instance. This is a default group that is present in all instances, so this isn't something that we have to worry about. We'll just collapse this and review the migration. This warning is the same warning that we just checked out, so nothing else to do here. So it looks like we're in the clear, and I'm just gonna go ahead and run this. Now, we're actually going to go ahead and let this run. Now, before, if you recall, this instance was blank. But now we can see all of these projects here that have been imported. If we go up to people, we can see now that it's not just me. We've got these other users that have been imported here by the Migration Assistant as well. 